Professor Wale Shoika on the occasion of his 90th birthday celebration has explained why he broke into a radio station during the military era in Nigeria which similarly followed the political public unrest in the then western region and aftermath of it, directly or indirectly led to the Nigeria Biafra civil war that ended with millions of people including children and women killed. Wale Shoika who is known to be the founder of Pirates Confraternity, a group also known to be the first secret cults in Nigeria was charged with armed robbery for breaking into the Nigerian Broadcasting Corporation studio in Ibadan during the heady days of the Western region's political crisis in 1965. Wale Shoika who was said to be fully armed, was alleged to have asked the man in the studio to use his own Shoika's recording, asking the premier to get out. Wale Shoika received the Nobel Prize for Literature from King Gustav of Sweden on December 1986 as the first African Nobel laureate in literature. As part of activities to mark his 90th birthday celebration, at the Academy of the Kingdom of Morocco, Professor Wale Shoika was awarded the gold medal for his contribution to the development of world literature. The award was presented to him by Margarita Al, President of the World Organization of Writers, WOW. Professor Wale Shoika in a statement on Monday, said he did not envisage that he would live up to 90 years. Shoika stated this at the 2024 edition of his International Cultural Exchange Program, held at his Ari residence, Ijewa, Abeokuta, Ogun State. The Nobel laureate said he decided to be a writer to correct some anomalies from stories he listened to while growing up. Given the reason he broke into a radio station during the military era, Shoika said, I never broke into a radio station, but sneaked in. The radio station was holding onto something that belonged to the people, and I decided to retrieve it. If that item had been played, it would have demoralized the people and established the culture of brutality. Wale Shoika condemned Nigerians for always criticizing the state, but refused to examine themselves. According to him, crimes like kidnapping and robbery, among others, are not because of poverty or equality, but selfishness and the desire to live a luxury life. The 2024 Wale Shoika International Cultural Exchange Program drew students from different parts of the country who participated in an essay competition on national and international topics. The Ogun State Government, led by Governor Dapo Abiodu, awarded scholarships to nine students who excelled in an essay competition marking Professor Wale Shoika's 90th birthday. The competition was part of the 2024 Wale Shoika International Cultural Exchange Program, which aims to promote education, cultural exchange, and leadership. Celebrating Wale Shoika at 90, President Bola Ambertinubu in a statement he personally signed said in quote thus, I am pleased to join admirers around the world in celebrating the 90th birthday of Nigeria's iconic son and the world-renowned Professor Akimonde Onuole Babatunde, famously known as Wale Shoika. Tomorrow, July 13, will be the climax of the series of local and international activities held in his honor. To underscore the literary giant's global relevance, a symposium and poetry reading were held in Rabat, Morocco, on the 9th of July. The event was organized by the Academy of the Kingdom of Morocco and the Pan-African Writers Association, POWER. Professor Shoinka, the first African to win the Nobel Literature Prize in 1986, deserves all the accolades as he marks the milestone of 90 years on Earth. Having beaten prostate cancer, this milestone is a fitting testament to his ruggedness as a person and the significance of his work, it is also fitting we celebrate this national treasure while he is still with us. I am, accordingly, delighted to have the honor to announce the decision of the federal government to rename the National Theatre in Igonmu, Suruleri, as the Wale Shoinka Center for Culture and the Creative Arts. We do not only celebrate Shoinka's remarkable literary achievements but also his unwavering dedication to the values of human dignity and justice. Our paths crossed during our just struggle for the enthronement of democracy in Nigeria following the annulment of the June 12, 1993, presidential election. When first with a trial in absentia and then sentenced by the military regime at home, he galvanized opposition in exile through Nalikon and Nadeko. His global stature meant him the first of our struggle to validate June 12 and restore democracy in Nigeria. Today, I join the world to celebrate his profound influence on generations of writers, scholars, and activists who have been inspired by his work. I celebrate him for giving us the spark to fight and confront military dictators in our country. I celebrate him for his enduring spirit and for teaching us that literature and drama can be used as a powerful tool to challenge the status quo. I wish Professor Shoinka an incredibly happy 90th birthday. May he continue in good health to find creative fulfillment in the next decade leading up to his centennial. May he continue to inspire us all to build a nation where people are free from oppression and our teaming youths can live up to their dreams without being a wasted generation. President Bolatin rewards and in quote. Sasuwa Kang Nebel, bringing you the news in a more digital way.